हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस द फर्स्ट चैप्टर ऑफ क्लास सिक्स आर एनवायरमेंट इन माय प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द बायोटिक फैक्टर्स सो टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द ए बायोटिक फैक्टर्स ऑफ द एनवायरमेंट सो चिल्ड्रन व्हाट इज ए बायोटिक मींस व्हाट डज इट मीन्स ए बायोटिक मीन्स the non living component of the environment the it is also known as the physical condition so what are non living components of the environment it can be water air temperature soil humidity radiation atmosphere and so on but children you must know that these abiotic component plays a very important role on our body it means ye जो ए बायोटिक कम्पोनेंट्स हैं वो लिविंग कम्पोनेंट्स के ऊपर बहुत बड़ा प्रभाव छोड़ते हैं इट मीन्स बोथ आर इंटर डिपेंडेंट ऑन ईच अदर तो आप ये नहीं कह सकते कि बायोटिक फैक्टर्स आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज दे आर लिविंग नो इट्स नॉट लाइक दैट इवन द ए बायोटिक कम्पोनेंट नो मैटर इट्स नॉन लिविंग कम्पोनेंट्स इट प्लेज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रोल ऑन द लिविंग फैक्टर्स सो वी विल डिस्कस इट वन बाय वन so the first component which we have to discuss is water and class 6 children everybody knows that water plays a very important role in everybody's life we cannot survive or we cannot grow without water so children we should save each and every drop of water otherwise we all know that water will become scarce there will be scarcity of water till 2030 and we indians will be dependent on every drop of water on other country so if you see in ev- in your daily life every day's life water is very important it plays a very important role in drinking bathing washing clothes and so many other things so this is one of the very important abiotic factor now children in this we have to discuss about rain water harvesting now we know that rain is the purest form of water but when it touches the ground it becomes impure because it dissolves many harmful things in it so rain water should be collected so how we can collect the rain water through rain water harvesting the rain water harvesting is collected in the rural areas and in urban both the areas through tanks now the tank which is above the ground it is known as overhead tank and the tank which is under the soil it is underground tank now in cities in the apartments because nowadays we don't have proper space bungalows we live in apartments so their children the terrace on the roof we just save the water through roof rain water harvesting roof top rain water harvesting so what is it the roof of the apartment is slanted is it is tilted as you see see in the screen wo tirchi hai and here there are tanks through pipelines the water of the rain water is collected in the overhead tanks and it seeps in the underground tanks also and by the help of pipes the rain water which is collected in the overhead tank can be used for our daily purpose like for bathing for washing clothes and so on so the rooftop rain water harvesting is very important in urban areas here the rain water is collected on the rooftops on the terraces of the house and through pipelines the water is being supplied to each and every house in the apartment okay children so we should save water we should not waste it the second component of the abiotic environment is again a very important factor that is the air and we all know air is a mixture of gases in which nitrogen oxygen carbon dioxide 
some inert gases dust smoke germs microscopic organisms these all are present but 78% is there nitrogen 21% is oxygen and in 1% carbon dioxide water vapor some other gases inert gases then smoke dust this is all present in only 1% so this plays a very important role and if the air is polluted what is the result that we consume the polluted air and we can fall sick now children as i have told you that oxygen is 21% this oxygen is given out by the plants through a process known as photosynthesis plants apna jo khana banate hain by the help of sunlight chlorophyll water and carbon dioxide glucose is prepared and oxygen is given out so this oxygen which is given out by the process of photosynthesis is taken by all the living beings that is animals and human beings so to live a healthy life to live a sustainable life air plays a very important role which is the abiotic factor and we should try not to pollute the air okay children so the next factor is light it is light which plays a very very important role because as we all know that sun is the ultimate source of energy the sun rises in the morning it sets in the evening no doubt we all know that sun is stationary it is the earth which moves but still we say that sun rises in the morning and it sets in the evening and due to the, the light of the sun due to the sun light the green plants are capable to prepare their own food as i have discussed just now by the process known as photosynthesis okay children and with by which oxygen is liberated out now when the sun comes out in the morning the light of the sun it falls on each and every part of the earth and it falls on the forests also in the water bodies also on the land also so in the water many aquatic plants and aquatic animals they live so when the light falls on the water body the aquatic plants take that light and by the help of photosynthesis they prepare their own food okay children so in the forest what happens when we talk about a dense forest bahut ghana forest ke bare mein when jab hum baat karte hain ghane jangal ke bare mein so when you go deeper into the forest you can see that the light in the dense forest is very less because the canopy of the trees is too much and the light is not capable to reach on the ground so here there is some difficulty for the aquatic plant for the plants to survive otherwise even a single rays of the light is capable for the plants and animals to survive in a proper way like when you see some flowers they can open properly in the morning like the sunflower the morning glory that is known as ipomea these flowers open in the morning and as the sun set they also fall down the petals they fall down means they close so here the light is playing a very important role in the growth of the flower means some if you see the sunflower agar aap sunflower suraj mukhi uska naam hi hai suraj mukhi wo apna face sun ke side par hi rakhta hai east se the as the sun rises in the east the sunflower will be in the east but in the west when it sets the flower will also turn its face on the west side so here light is playing important role in closing and opening of the flowers now when we talk about animals some animals are nocturnal nocturnal animals means what those animals which come out in the night like cockroaches bats owls they come out in the night 
they don't come out in the morning so these are known as nocturnal animals okay children so here we all we human beings are not nocturnal we do our work in the morning and we sleep in the night but some animals are nocturnal animals they come out in the night so here again light is playing a very important role on their life okay children the very important again the next factor is temperature temperature means what the degree of hotness and coldness ye nahi hai ki temperature ka matlab sirf garam no temperature means degree of hotness and degree of coldness both and it is measured by the device which is known as thermometer now when you when we talk about desert condition desert is very hot and when you talk about the polar regions polar regions are very cold they are cooler regions so in different types of environment either it is a desert region or a moderate region or a polar region different plants and animals are seen according to the temperature like if you see in desert camels are there lizards are there snakes they live in a very proper manner in desert condition but when we talk about polar regions polar bears penguins are there in the cold region in the warmer region of uh, we see tigers and elephants and many other land animals like cow goat etc so when we if you take the example of cow a cow can tolerate a hot weather in comparison to buffalo matlab hum ek cow aur buffalo mein agar aap compare karenge to cow jo hai it can tolerate hot weather in comparison to buffaloes jo hamari buffaloes hoti hain they are black in color aur unme efficient sweat glands जो स्वेट को निकालने की ग्लैंड होती हैं पसीने को निकालने की ग्लैंड दे आर नॉट प्रेजेंट इन अफिशियंट अमाउंट सो दैट्स वाई बफलो फील हॉट एंड दैट्स वाई दे गो इन टू द वॉटर बॉडीज टू कूल देम सेल्स लेकिन अगर आप कंपेयर करेंगे कैमल से कैमल्स कैन टॉलरेट हाई एक्सट्रीम हीट दे आर बिकॉज दे आर लिविंग इन डेजर्ट एंड चिल्ड्रेन यू मस्ट नो that camel don't have any sweat glands buffaloes don't have efficient sweat glands but camel don't have any sweat glands camel mein koi ek bhi sweat glands nahi hoti hai to usse kya hota what happens that the waste water from their body is not liberated out so the loss of water is reduced in camel and the water is retained in their body so that's why they don't they can survive easily in the hotter region and the last factor in the abiotic component is the soil which plays a very important role hamari jitni bhi kheti all the farming is done in the soil if soil is not there if fertile soil is not there the plants will not be able to grow properly wo nahi grow karenge wo unki quality or quantity both will decrease कम हो जाएगी अगर आप फूलों की खेती करते हैं तो द द वराइटी ऑफ फ्लावर्स द क्वालिटी ऑफ फ्लावर्स विल बी रिड्यूस्ड सो सॉइल प्रोवाइड्स वाटर एंड मिनरल्स टू द प्लांट्स एंड बाय द हेल्प ऑफ द रूट्स द सॉइल थ्रू सॉइल वाटर एंड मिनरल इज एब्सॉर्ब्ड सो सॉइल इफ इफ यू पुट सम फर्टिलाइजर इन द सॉइल आई द मेन्योर और कंपोस्ट the quality and the quantity of the crops or the flowers will be increased so children these are the abiotic factors that we have discussed today in which we have discussed water then we have discussed air light temperature and soil okay children so in the next topic of this chapter we will discuss about the interaction in the environment and the mineral cycle okay children thank you for today